Okay, so now we've finished all of our work here, filling in all these different things. I added another one about making a video about the process, which my group did last year. And you can see my Gantt chart starting to have some more stuff, but something doesn't look right about it. And that's because everything down here in the beginning is happening at the same time, which we know is impossible, right? Because we can't cut the wood until we bought it at Home Depot. So something is missing here, and that's telling the computer what needs to be done before something else can begin, okay? Which can be pretty tricky, okay? And so the next thing that we're actually going to work on here is, a, is called assigning uh, predecessors or adding predecessors, okay? And what a predecessor is is another column here on the left side where it says predecessors, see that? And that will tell the computer what things need to happen before this piece of the project is done. So for example, listing the materials, right? Well, that doesn't really need anything else to happen beforehand. But we can't buy the materials at Home Depot until listing the materials is done, right? Because we won't know what to buy which means that number two here, listing materials, is a predecessor to buying the materials. So under buy materials, we can put a two because of the two that comes right here and that says, okay, I can't buy the materials at Home Depot until two is complete, they've been listed. And you can see here on my Gantt chart, I've got this new arrow, which is telling me all about it. Okay, and then down here it says organize materials. I can't organize them until I've bought them, which means I can't start number four until number three is complete. Okay, and there you can see the arrows forming again. Okay, and of course, I can't measure any wood until I've bought and organized that stuff, so I can't start number six until number four is complete. Okay, that can't go until that's done. I can't cut the wood until I've me measured the wood, and I can't attach the wood until I've cut it. Okay, so all of these just adding dependencies to the ones that came before it. Okay, however, I can start to plan out this video right from the start, so that's not dependent on anything but I can't film the video until I finish planning it out, which means that filming uh, its predecessor is number 10, and I certainly can't edit the video until I have uh, filmed it. So that means that a predecessor here is filming, which is number 11. So you can start to see how this Gantt chart is gonna fill itself out. And certain some things can happen at the same time, and other things can't. That's predecessors, okay? And it's important that you do it at the very end, get all your information in there first, then start assigning the predecessors, otherwise it's gonna get too confusing. Okay. We're almost done. The last thing we want to talk about is just assigning resources, okay? And this is, a, this is a last thing. So if you double click on one of these guys, let's say measuring the wood. Let's say I know that Mr. Caden is really good at measuring wood, right? He's got the like really good skills of the tape measure. I can double click on that particular objective. And I can click on this guy right here, which will show me oh, which people are going to be working on this. Well, we'll say, okay, Mr. Caden's going to be working on it. Let me click on him. He's definitely in. Okay, and then I'm also going to assign Mr. Bird. Okay, good. Both of those two people are going to be working on that. And you can see on the Gantt chart, their names come up alongside that task. Okay, what about organizing the materials? Well, Mr. Caden is really, really very much not organized. So we're going to put somebody else on that instead. So we click up, double click on that. We click on resources and we can assign Mr. Cantu to that because he's a really organized guy. Okay, and so when you're done, you should have a giant list of uh, steps for your entire project. You should have who's going to be working on those steps, and you should see what can happen at the same time, what needs to be finished before the other stuff can get started. And with a giant plan like that, you're going to know exactly what you need to do when you sit down on day one in enrichment term. You won't be farting around. You'll be building. You'll be planning. You'll be ready to create a really awesome project. So go ahead, get started, finish this thing up, and uh, next week we'll keep going, and you can show it to your team uh, when you get back.